I'm standing on the third floor of Paul Bruton Dormitory here at Arusha at Northern Bible College. And in this room, we have the bunk beds assembled, the desk and chairs assembled, and the wardrobes are uh, still in boxes waiting to be assembled. Um, and it's just a thrill to see this all coming together. This morning, I was reflecting back on Mark chapter 16, verse 15, where Jesus appeared to the disciples as they were gathered together and they were in doubt and they, were, they weren't believing that he had really wrote, risen from the dead. But he looks at them and he rebukes them and, and he says to them to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And that is what Paul and Helen Bruton did. They heard the call, they came, they did what God told them to do. Likewise, you and I have answered the call to do what God has put in our hearts to do. Sally and I, as young people, as in our youth, answered the call that God placed on our lives. And it's exciting to see that in God's divine plan, this college is going to be a center for missions, just as Paul and Helen Bruton envisioned it, seeing young men and women trained to take the gospel to their own people. And in fact, I just had a note handed to me this morning that this coming week, Tuesday through Friday, the Tanzanian Assemblies of God are going to be holding a missions conference right here in the auditorium, and pastors will be staying right here in this dormitory. So we are thrilled and excited to know that what God intended from the beginning of time is taking place and is gonna be continue to be developed and expanded here at uh, Northern Bible College. So thank you for being a part of this because you have made this happen. By faith, we've walked through this together and we see the results right here. And it's gonna be a tremendous time next week. I'll share a little bit of that conference with you. But thank you for being a part of this grand journey safari that God has us on and it's not over yet. God bless you.